Hello again, Piddly Bombs. So, what I was looking for here was to see if there was any rot on this uh, piece of wood. There's not. It has been um, epoxied and gel coated or something. There's no rot, it's solid. That's good enough. Now, I could go ahead and paint this whole area here. You never see it. There is no point in doing that. The tank sits here, so it's irrelevant. All this stuff is going to have, all the bits you can see are going to be covered in uh, soundproofing and the bits that are visible I will get paint to but there's no need to paint that they're, they're absolutely pointless so I'm not going to waste the money right now yeah so I'm going to uh, get the colorifier out of the box now and put it in there and just see um, how it looks right well here we go this could get messy let's see okay hopefully it's not too big it's certainly not too high but it might be too wide let's see it's about a centimeter wider than the old one i think come on baby you can do it when you put it okay oh oh what Hang on a minute. I think I might have just wet myself slightly. Oh, look at that. Oh my gold. Hello, mama. What's your name? <laughs> oh man, okay. Oh, hot water on demand, come on. Okay, <clears throat> I can't calm down slightly. Um, so yeah, there you can see how it sits. There's enough room at the top for the pipes to the curvature of the pipes to come over. Um, I'm not a fan of those connections. They're, they're going to make my life slightly harder than it needs to be. But you know what? Uh, it's all fine. I, you know, I can get to everything by my little access hatches. Once this is fixed in place for future dabblings, I can just take off my access covers and get to all of the uh, connections there. So that's fantastic. Um, things I could make easier for myself right away at the moment is to, um, I could connect up the electrics. Yeah, so perhaps I should wire that up um, before screwing it into place. Because obviously what would be really great is if I can get the tank in position, fuel tank in position um, quite soon. Uh, oh jeez, honestly, I tell you. So this is, I mean, I don't know why I've been putting this off so much. I mean, I've been in a, a bit of a, a, a low spot, I suppose, really. A lot going on. Nothing has gone my way. So the fact that it just fitted in, has, it's just made my day. It's, I'm so happy about that. Just little things, man. But I, I suppose that that's a culmination of an awful lot of thinking and work, and I had to set a tank back. It's been going on for a long time. Um, but, yeah, that's just... Fantastic. <sighs> Can't wait to get on this boat. Cannot wait. Right, so I've just laid down the calorifier, see if it, see if we can fit it like this. I mean, this would be better, but the problem I have with that um, is that um, I think the fuel tank's gonna bind on it. I might be able to get it back a bit. If I could, that would be fantastic right so that's as far back as it will go i can get those two front um these this here and near this foot to bolt onto that former which is good um might have to epoxy some nuts in there or something but the it is just overlapping the back of the tank so i just need to know if the tank will fit in there so i've got to look up some measurements So I'm not quite sure, like I said earlier, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to wire this in yet. So um, for now, I'm just going to wire it in 
and leave a very long tail on it. Right, so. To fit some pieces. I don't know what any of this does. Uh, I'll just put it all in there for now. Um, okay, so wiring in like that. Oh, okay, so that isn't the way I thought it was. That's it. So we'll put that down where I'm working. So that's okay, so here we are in the sharp end. Uh, so that's how it's going to go. So the earth goes on to that one. Uh, live goes onto that one and neutral goes onto that one. Great. Okay, so it's suggesting that the wire will come out of the front here, like this. So we're going to have to work out the best configuration for this. Uh, probably like that. Doesn't really matter, I can do that later. Just see if these are loose. No, so I need a better screwdriver than that. Cool. So let's let's work out the lengths here. So we want that's going to be coming in there like that. So we need the earth to be underneath. Okay, so we've got this wired in now. Um, right, I'll sort of sit around there. Now this little cap goes on. Showing you that. So that that that's um, tethered. There's a little tether there, that's, so that you can pull it, and it won't won't uh, put any stress on the wire. rocking a bit I don't want to, just want to check that it's not um, pinching that wire I think it probably is so tuck those underneath like that and then push it in from the side that way like that so yeah that's better much better It doesn't want to be too tight, obviously, because it's just pulling down on that plastic. So that's it. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try and just, well, I am going to just push this up. Like that. So that's where she's going to sit. So I need to drill some holes. Stand by. Sorry, I forgot to film that. So I've drilled a couple of holes. One, two, three, four. And uh, let's see if we can try and get this into position now. Don't line up. Oh, damn it. Line that bottom up. Line that up. Oh, that one is. Oh, that's something. Oh, right. Okay. 
Cool. That is cool. Nice. Okay, so uh, that's how it looks now. There is a bit of stress there, but I couldn't really do much else about that, but it's fine. Um, but they all just need to be clipped in now. And you can see that looks quite good. Um, there should be enough room for the fuel tank, just. If not, I can move the fuel tank forward a centimetre. That wouldn't be a problem. Um, but yeah, so that's uh, that's it. Let's see if it leaks and let's see if it heats water up. Whilst that's doing that, um, let's, let's have a quick look in here. So I'm going to put a plug on the end of this for today so we can test it out. Um, but I'm not sure in the, in the cupboard here or the consumer here whether I have a spare switch or don't. So I'll have to put in a separate one, but for now I'll just plug it in up here. A little update, a little update to where we're at. So that great big uh, mess is now, it's now got a plug on the end of it, which is plugged in up here. And um, that goes round the calorifier. Right, so just to show you the finished job. Mark the pipe so we can see which one's in and out. I kind of know anyway now, but uh, there you go. So there, that's all nicely clipped in, nice and parallel, doesn't rattle. And you can see the mark there where the fuel tank uh, bracket goes, so that the fuel tank should fit there, no problem at all. That side's clear. Um, yeah, so I've just got to, that's, that's for the um, Abbas Um Yeah, so really, I've just got to get the fuel tank in now and, and then connect up all the feeds that come to the engine but that's all easy stuff compared to what I've been doing fuel tanks gonna be fiddly the, the restriction I have is getting it through here so that's just 500 so I might have to take off this wooden trim to get it in and if you remember uh, when I took it out I, I did muller it a little bit but um, I've cut the new studs right down to a minimum which I'll show you when I bring that in uh, so it should fit anyway Fingers crossed. So now it's just a case of waiting for 10 minutes or so and seeing if the water gets hot. But I would think that, that should get warm pretty quick, I think. There's definitely no temperature change yet. But we'll just leave it for now. So um, tomorrow um, I'm, I'm going out for the day, which will be really nice. Uh, hopefully the day after that, get the tank, the fuel tank in and then the engine in and then she's ready to potter about. And what I will do, um, I will go for a potter about actually, under under the engine, uh, once I've run it for a bit. And have a damn good tidy up, obviously, and um, get everything ship shape again. And then start actually trying to turn it into a home, um, which is obviously the big, the big plan here. Uh, I've so just been timing that for 10 minutes to see. Because to be fair, the water that's coming out of this is not particularly hot right now. Um, so that's been on for, it's been on for about another 20 minutes since I turned it up. So I'd like to see a bit of steam coming off of this. So let's see where we're at. Let's have a look. So that, I mean, it's lukewarm at best that. Uh, yeah, we go. There we go. Oh, that's better. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Oh, yeah. So yeah that's cool so obviously i can i've got a mixer tap here so i can mix it but yeah that's coming out that's nice and hot now that's great steam coming off it i don't know if you could see that i didn't buy an expansion vessel for this uh, it didn't have one before and yeah the, the pump comes on every time but it does it's been doing that anyway and if you use the cold it does that it's good good strong pump what what i'm going to do next is uh I'll try and get the fuel tank back in. Yeah, so uh, back in the saddle, uh, on and up. Thanks for watching.